Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do my first episode in my yearly declutter series. Once a year I try to declutter my collection, just try to go through the things that I have in my collection and just see what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. I will leave my declutter playlist up here. This is going to be episode number one but of course if you're watching this later on in the year you can see the other episodes coming up here or if you want to see the declutters that i've done the past two years they're also up here in the little tab i'm going to start with uh, primers foundations concealers and powders next episode is going to be bronzers uh, blushes and face palettes and then we have highlighters uh, eyeshadow palettes and lip products and those are the five um, episodes in the series i hope you will enjoy i'm gonna have about one episode a week um for the next five weeks so i hope you will enjoy it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't been here before my name is angie i'm a lover of fashion and makeup especially colorful makeup and this makeup look is pretty colorful it's already up on my channel i will leave a link to it down below in case you want to check it out and if you want to see some more color in your timeline if you want to see some more fun things please don't forget to subscribe because i do upload quite a lot of videos we are soon heading into vlogmas where i'm gonna have one video every day until christmas oh and also i don't know if i need to say this but like I, this is my job like this is what i do for a living nobody needs this much makeup i am having this much makeup trying this much makeup so that i can let you know what could be a good idea to pick up and what you could definitely skip i'm just you know trying all of it so you don't have to Okay, welcome to this declutter. I am gonna go through all of my primers, foundations, powders, and concealers. But let me just organize this a bit so that we can start with primers first because I have more than what's in this picture. I have more. So let me do that first. Okay, so I think that these are all of my primers that I have right now. I know that this is like a primer, highlighter, hybrid kind of a thing. I have mine in light medium three. I really like this one. I really need to be using this more. I will say that this is the kind of product that I use when I have a bit of like my natural tan. Right now I have a little bit of self tanner, but it's fading away. But you can see that it's a pretty good shade for me. So... I'm definitely keeping this. I just need to use this more. Hopefully I'll remember to use this more now that I have less things in this drawer because this drawer was full. Here is something that I really like using as a, a primer, but I, I have a little left. This is something that I am hoping to uh, pan this year. I love it, but I don't love it as much as I love the Pixie Rose Flash Bomb. You can see this one has probably as much left. It's just that this tube doesn't like deflate like this one does these two does pretty much the same thing just smoothens and like tightens up the skin and i really like using these before makeup i'm gonna see if i can use this one up this year then we have the nyx bear with me this one oh i have this uh, primer as well i've heard that these two are dupes like the hydro grip and let me see if i can just open this one up the hydro grip and the come on oh do you see the jelly it is very jelly. I've heard that these two are the same. I think that both of these are really nice. I'm gonna keep them and this one you can see I've used like half of it because it's laying down so it's like so I think I'm gonna see if I can use at least the hydro grip up this year and we'll see if I end up keeping the bear with me after I'm done with that one but as you can see why is this lid so weird? Come on work with me work with me but as you can see i do have a couple of primers but i have like these two i'm gonna try and get through then i have this one this is the nyx high glass i have mine in rose quartz i really like this one i like this one as a illuminating primer i'm using a light coverage foundation i'm definitely keeping this one i think it's really nice i really like let's see i like all of these for the exact same reasons they are pretty pore filling they do keep my makeup on longer this one is more like a hydrating one though i i am almost done this one i do i need to use this one this one smells nice though people really love this one i got a sample i've only used it like once i really need to use that more this one is almost done and it's very like old you can see in the packaging and this is the all-star by colourpop but i love it so i'm gonna see if i can get rid 
or like use up these three. I'm not adding any more primers. I like primers at times, but most of these I will say I've gotten in PR. Um, <laughs> And I definitely do not need to use um, to buy more. But I'm not going to get rid of any of them. But now you know. I will only save the ones I want. I also have this one. The Under Eye in Anti Fatigue Under Eye Primer by Becca. I use this at times. Especially when I have dry under eyes. So I'm going to be I'm going to be using this one as well. But these are the primers I have. I'm keeping all of them. Because I think they're all nice. I'm just going to see if I can use up a couple that I feel like I have dupes for. So that's going to be uh, my mission for next year. How do I, how am I planning to do this? Like this? Is, is this? is this the best way? No. Is this the way I'm doing it? Yes. So these are my primers and they get to stay because I do like them. I just need to... I just need to use a couple of the dupes up. Okay, let's get into foundations uh, and then we can go to concealers. Let me see if I can just get these out. I have I have a bunch. This is going to be the part where I really declutter. I think I'm going to declutter quite a few. So hold on to your panties. Oh my god, I have so many. Let me put the powders away so we don't have to worry about that at all. Oh, I had this one here as well. Maybe this is Countess as primer as well. It's the Under Eye Corrector by Becca. I do use this one as well when I uh, haven't gotten that much sleep and it needs to look like I did. So I'm keeping this one as well. I like it. But don't use too much because it's going to end up being greasy. Use a little. Okay, so these are my foundations. I do have the Laneige BB Cushion. This one I'm going to give to my mom. I think that she will really like it. She has really dry skin. And for me, this was a little too dewy for my liking. But I think my mom's going to like it. And we have the same skin tone. So I'm actually going to give this to her because I have a refill as well. I liked it, but it's a bit too dewy for my liking. But if you really like a dewy, if you really like a dewy foundation, this BB Cushion and the Aging SPF 50 Plus PA++++. It's a nice foundation. I liked it a lot. It is a cushion foundation. It looks really nice. Um, it's just to do it for my liking. So I'm gonna give this to my mom. I'm sure she's gonna love it. Let's get rid of some foundations because let's start with my favorites. Let's stop, listen. You're gonna be shocked, but 2020 has been the year when I have realized what my favorite foundations are. So I am gonna get rid of most of these. This is my favorite. This is a medium to full coverage. This is the Natasha Denona Foundation X. I have mine in 25W. I am going to buy this in another shade come the sale. I also really love this one. You can see that I have two shades of the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude. I have mine in 5.5 and 4. These are my favorite foundations. These get to stay. I'm also saving ooh, I'm also saving the Juvia's Place foundations. And I don't love using these. I use these as a foundation when I have a really bad skin day. Because these are the most full coverage foundations I own. But... I use these as a concealer and they're really nice as concealers so I'm saving them to be a concealer. I know it's weird but that that's what we're doing. I also really love this one. I have this in two shades. I have them in medium 9W and light N, light 8 neutral, light 8N. Saving both of these. Really like this. I use this with my hands and work them in with my hands but I think it's a really nice uh, foundation uh, or like tinted moisturizer. So I'm keeping both of those. I also really like this one. Uh, I've actually used this quite a lot. This is the Clarin Skin Illusion. I have mine in shade doo -doo -doo, Vanilla 106. This one is nice when I don't have a self tanner. Otherwise, it's a little too light for me, but I like it. I also really love these. These are great. NYX Bear With Me. I have them in Cinnamon Mahogany and True Beige Buff. I mix these to get my perfect shade. These are beautiful as well. This gives a beautiful canvas and light coverage for me. They hold up great. They're a great find at the drugstore. I would highly recommend you to check out these if you're looking for a light coverage foundation. I think they are great. I also really, really love this one, the Uma Beauty Foundation. I have mine in Fair Lady T3W. Also a really nice shade uh, when I don't have too much of a tan going on. I like these as well. I'm keeping all of these. This... Not the biggest fan. Not the biggest fan. Not that they're bad, 
but they are just not nearly as good as the other. Some of these used to be my favorites. I've mentioned these as my favorites. I've mentioned these as a favorite. Uh, I have mentioned this one as a favorite. This one I think I'm getting rid of though. I have it in another shade because they're pretty old. But these are pretty old. And all of these, uh, maybe I'll keep this one because it's so expensive and I can, I can mix this. This is a Synchro Skin Self Refreshing. For me, this moves around and settles in my lines but it's okay for filming. It looks great on camera, but this is not a foundation that I use outside of camera. So this is not a favorite. It just looks good on camera, so I'm saving it. All of this, uh, I like it, but it's far from being my favorite, and they're near, not nearly as good enough as the ones I saved, so I'm just gonna declutter all of this. All of this, all of these, all of these get to go. I just, they're not bad because they survived my last declutter. Uh, this one I didn't like that much, I will say. The Dewy, uh, Wet n Wild Dewy. But I like all of these. I think they're all nice. They have survived another declutter. The only thing that I added uh, in this pile since my last declutter is the Wet n Wild Dewy foundation. And this wasn't my favorite. But these aren't as good as the ones I'm keeping. The ones I'm keeping are the ones I'm reaching for. The ones I'm using outside of YouTube. Except this one, but I'm keeping it because it looks good on camera. And because I have other options to use outside, but yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all of these. I feel really good about that. What am I gonna put these in? Let me get a basket. Okay, I'm back with the basket. Ooh. So it's one, two. These were 20. I have a close up little sample here. I know I have more of these. So let's also get rid of these. So I had 20 full sizes. I am keeping this one though because this one is great to mix. So this is D10 Deep. This is obviously not my shade, but this is a nice mixer for me when a foundation is too light. So I'm keeping this one. But 20 full sizes and 9 minis. That's what I'm getting rid of. I feel really good about that. Wow. That feels great. I only have my favorites left. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so excited about this. So excited. Okay, so 20 foundations got to go. Let's get into the concealers. After filming, I actually found one more shade of this, and I found the CC Perfecting Foundation from Revolution Pro, but I'm getting rid of both of these as well. So two more foundations that I'm getting rid of. I just found them now when I was trying to put things together. Oopsie. These are the only ones I have. I feel really good about that. I feel like a lot of YouTubers have so many concealers, but this is, this is all I have. And I think what I'm gonna do is I, I don't like this that much. This is the Vision Dream cover. It is a concealer and foundation in, all in one. I'm gonna keep this as a concealer and I'm gonna use it up. It's not that much in this one. This is from Denisa Myricks, but I'm keeping it because I'm, this I will be able to use up. This is a concealer that I hate as a concealer, but I use it as a concealer for cut creases. And this is the UA High, uh, I think it's called it like a high coverage, oh here, high coverage liquid concealer. Uh, it's, it's like cement. It's like cement. I, I really, really dislike this one. Um, I don't think that this is a good concealer at all. If you have mature under eyes and if you have like, this 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 is an aging concealer. Let me just put it like that. I have it in chiffon. I'm keeping this only for cut creases. No other uh, use. Oh, this one got in the wrong pile. Then we have the Juvia's Place concealer in number 20. I am keeping this one because I'm gonna use it up. I have used quite a lot of this one. It is a nice shade for me, but this isn't my favorite concealer. I feel like this, I'm gonna use it up. I'm gonna use it up because I have it. But here is something that I'm decluttering. This is the NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer in Vanilla. It's almost panned. You can see it's not that much left, but also this is old. So I'm getting rid of this one because it's old, um, because I don't need to keep old ones when I have newer ones. This is a concealer that at first I didn't like it that much, but I actually have been enjoying it. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I can only use a little of this one, and if I'm having a bad under eye day, this one will look a bit creepy on me, but I still like it, and I feel like the same like I feel with these. I'm gonna use it up. It, it's a nice concealer. Feel the same with this one. This is the Woke Concealer by Uma Beauty in Fair Lady T2. It's nice, but it's not my favorite, but I'm gonna use it up. Here are the ones that I like the most. You can see I have three of these, and I really have been enjoying using 
the uh, full coverage, I think it's called I Am Magic Foundation from Juvia's Place as a concealer. It's really nice as a concealer. So the NYX Born to Glow and the Armani, uh, I think this is called Power Fabric. Yeah, this is the Power Fabric Concealer from Armani, uh, Giorgio Armani Beauty. I have it in number one and the Born to Glow Concealers by NYX. These are my favorites. These are the ones I reach for and I also have been reaching for these actually a bit lately. I really like it. This one is more of a medium coverage concealer. If you like a full, full, full coverage, you probably will not like this one, but this one looks great if you have a bit of fine lines under your eyes. I just think it's a really nice, just a really nice concealer to make you look a bit more awake, a bit more fresh. It's not gonna give you that Instagram cover uh, thing under your eyes, but I, I, I will be honest that that's not what I'm looking for either. This one I had in number one. These I have in three shades. I mix them but depending on how much tan I have. I have it in, oh here are the shades. I have them in Vanilla, Pale and True Beige. Uh, those are the ones. Pale is the uh, lightest one, of course, and the true beige is the darkest one. So this is my favorite concealer. I really, really like it. Uh, and I am uh, keeping those. So I'm keeping all of the concealers but one. I don't feel that bad about that because I don't feel like I have that many. And I also do not buy a lot of concealers, like you can see. Uh, and also I do not uh, receive a lot of concealers in PR. So I feel like this is not that bad and I'm gonna go through most of these uh, during next year. Let's go through some powders. Okay, so these are the powders that I have. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, maybe you can see a couple of the powders like this if I put them up. These are the powders that I have and I will be getting rid, listen, I love the idea of powder foundation but I never use it so I'm gonna get rid of this one or I'm gonna give this one to my mom as well. My mom really likes this one so I'm gonna give this to uh, my mom, she's gonna like it. This one I'm gonna give to someone who has more oily skin, this is the Absolite powder. It's a powder that's gonna really keep your skin not getting oily throughout the day. I really do not have a problem with that. This is from the Swedish brand, I think it's called uh, Palina. So I, I'm not gonna keep this because I do not have oily skin, so I'm getting rid of those two. Uh, I, oh my god, let me, let me think. These are my two favorites, can you tell? I have serious pan in these, I am gonna repurchase these when I run out. This is the high glass uh, finishing powder from NYX, I use this all over my face and I have a hair here, let's not talk about that. This is in medium and then I have the HD finishing powder from NYX in banana. These get to stay. I like this one as well. Uh, I think this is a really nice powder. This is the hyaluronic pressed powder. Who? Come on. Oh my. So this is the uh, one that doesn't have a color. I like this one so I'm gonna keep it. I also like these as finishing powders. Uh, I think I have two from Hourglass. I'm not purchasing from Hourglass right now because I, I think I have it in dim light and then I have that new one, uh, the new powder as well. Since buying this one, I have taken a bit of a break from uh, Hourglass. I talked about that a couple of weeks ago, um, maybe even more than a couple of weeks ago when you're seeing this because I just want them to be better. Uh, I just, they can't come out with more complexion products in just one color. I don't approve of that, but I'm keeping them because I paid for them. They're expensive and they're nice, but I'm not buying any more right now. This is from Kiko Milano. This is their finishing powder from the Tuscan Sunshine collection. It is beautiful. It is just a bit of a, uh, like it just gives a bit of a sheen to the skin. It's nice uh, and I'm gonna keep it and use it the same way that I use the Hourglass. This is a beautiful finishing powder. I know we have all kinds of feelings about Jaclyn uh, Hill, but this release from Jaclyn Cosmetics was beautiful. This is the finishing powder, uh, glowy finishing powder. This is stunning, 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 stunning. This one is in Brighten Up. It is a wonderful product. I've used so much of this. This is definitely staying. Then we have this one. I like this one, but I'm gonna declutter it because it is very old and I don't use it that much. And this is the Next to Nothing Finishing Powder in Medium Plus from MAC. It's nice, but it's old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm keeping this one as well. You see I used a lot of this one. I don't know if you can see that I used a lot, but this is the By Terry uh, Hyaluronic Tinted Powder. This one is in Fair, but it's... As you can see, not very fair. I use this all over my face when I don't want a glowy face, when I want more of a matte look. It's a really nice powder, I am keeping it. Then we have this one. I've been trying to pan this for so long, but there's so much in this. This is the Veil powder. Uh, I 
like this under my eyes, but I'm gonna be 100% honest, I like how my skin looks under my eyes more with this one than this one. This one is more drying according to me. I really love that banana powder from NYX. So this one is just that it has a little bit of a sheen to it. I'm gonna use it up, but this is one of those products that I'm not gonna uh, repurchase. I like it, but I have replaced it. I thought that I was gonna see if I can get some use out of this one. This is this is not a setting powder for me. This is more of a highlighting powder for me. Uh, but I don't like it as much as I like my NYX one, so I'm actually gonna declutter that one. Then we have this one. I never reach for this. I have used quite a lot. It's a no filter setting powder. It's it's okay. It's in translucent. It's okay, but I never reach for this one either, so I'm also gonna get rid of that one. Then we have the Infinity Powder. This is a really nice powder when you just want to smooth and blur your skin a bit. Don't don't use this under my eyes though, I don't like that, but as a nice finishing powder, like buffing powder over your face, it's really nice. I'm gonna keep this one. Then we have the Nabla Close-Up Powder in Medium. I liked it. I actually panned. Panned and got rid of the one in light. I used it under my eyes. I'm gonna keep this one and see if I can use this a bit on my face. So this one, I haven't used it as much, but I think that this is gonna be a really nice all-over face powder. So I think I'm gonna keep this and use this and just see if I can get more use out of this one. So this one survives another declutter because I like the formula and I want to give myself a chance to use that one up. Then I have this one. Back when I was really, 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 really into high coverage, I used to set my face with the Bake and Balance. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Baked, Balance, and Brighton. Oh my god. In fair, this is a powder foundation. Oh my god. And I spilled some. And it has a bit of coverage and it adds a bit more coverage to your skin. This is a nice trick. If you want to add even more coverage to your skin, but you don't want to put on another layer of foundation, set your face with some powder foundation. You will get another... Uh, like you will get some more coverage. That is a trick that I use a lot when back when I was modeling and I really wanted the porcelain skin, but I don't do that anymore and this is old so I'm gonna get rid of it. But I like it though. If you're looking for a powder foundation to use over foundation, I do like this one. Then we have the Guerlain. Uh, this is the Meteorites and you can see I've used quite a lot of this. This is a nice finishing powder. It does give a bit of a just a sheen uh, to the skin. It is a nice powder. It smells a lot like violets. This is expensive and I do use it. I think it's a nice uh, finish on the skin. So I'm gonna keep this as well. So let me put the ones I'm keeping away. Wait, I'll put them in this one. Um, and we'll see where I can uh, put the ones I'm not saving. Okay, so these are the ones I'm saving and I am getting rid of one, two, three, four, six powders. I still feel like that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, I feel very accomplished getting rid of a bunch of things. Here I have this one, oh my god, with cat hairs in it. And I usually have my foundations in here. So now I actually think that I'm going to be able to fit my foundations as well. And I am very, very excited about that, not gonna lie. And here's the one that I mix with. Perfect! That is so perfect. Look at that. Oh my god. And then the primers. So this is going to be uh, this is going to be what's in my face drawer uh, from now on. I am so excited. I feel like I got rid of mostly foundations, but I just found my favorites. I found my favorites and when you find your favorites, you don't need to have everything else. You don't need to have everything else. The only thing that I know that I'm buying now is that I'm buying this one in another shade. And I also know that I did buy the um, the new foundation from ColourPop, the Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic foundation. I bought that one because I wanted to try it because I saw a lot of people uh, really liking it. And I made an order from ColourPop, so I did throw that one in my basket. So that's the only foundation that I'm gonna try right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how my collection is looking right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm having another declutter up. Uh, I think in a week or so, I'm going to declutter my blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. So if you And also face palettes. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe because I'm having another declutter up. I'm having a video up tomorrow as well. And that's going to be something totally different. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.